Now I will be explaining how to get a minimum redundancy Hoffman code. According to Hoffman code what will happen whenever we have a symbols we will try to arrange in the order of decreasing probability then we add the probability of the last two symbol then we proceed further once you get the last two element we proceed in the back one we assign 0 1 at each step once you get the last two elements we proceed in the backward direction. Where the confusion lies for that you take this example now I consider an example uh, my source will have 5 symbols S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 with the probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. According to Hoffman code I had to arrange all these symbols in the order of decreasing probability. Here what will happen 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 I consider. So he says you add the probability of last two symbols when I add these two what will happen 0.1 and 0 0.1. Now I had to proceed further now the confusion start because in the next stage what will happen I have this 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 already there are two sources with 0 0.2 probability existing where I have to keep this added probability shall I keep this one as high as possible or below this what will be the effect that I will explain in this example. Now I will go for the case keeping equal probability as high as possible. Now also all these probabilities are in the decreasing order only but what is the change I have done the previously added probability I kept at the top. Then I will add the probability of last two symbols like what we did here and I as in 0 and 1 when I add this to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 become 0 0.4. When I further proceed already there is one 0.4 where I have to keep as I explained instead of keeping down I will keep this probability high. Now I will have a symbol with 0.4 and the last two uh, symbols probabilities are 0.4 and 0.2 I will add 0.4 plus 0.2 become uh, 0.2 is 0.6 inevitably I had to keep high because 0.6 is higher than 0.4 then once again I analyze in 0 and 1. See in each stage what I have done whenever I add two symbols and uh, further proceed equal probabilities are there I will try to keep the added probability as high as possible. Then how to get the code word? So I had to move forward backward in this direction and I had to get the code word. See now my suggestion is to avoid confusion what is the best way to get the code word is where these two symbols are joined is here that 0 I will make as a prefix for these two and these two will be added to this point that one I will make the prefix here and these two symbols added one will come at this point that 0 1 I will make it as a prefix for easy understanding because what I observed whenever we go back and tracing always there is a lot of confusion. Now what will happen to get my code word I will move in this direction S1 is linked to this point so 0 0 is its code word S2 is connected here 1 0 and S3 is I am going to connect here 1 1 S4 0 1 0 S5 0 1 1 and here the code word is 1 0. Now I will find the efficiency and the redundancy in this case whenever we go for H of S the entropy use these probabilities and find that comes to be 2.12. When you go for the average code word length that comes to be 2.2 the efficiency is 96.3 percent the redundancy is 30. See the redundancy is uh, 3.7 percent. So what I will observe now instead of keeping equal probability as high as possible I will try to keep at the low then we can see what will be the change. Now what will happen I will take the same example of S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 I will add the last two symbol probability now I am once again getting 0.2. In the previous example I kept this one at 0.2 after 0.4 among these two at the high level now what I will do I will keep down then I will add these two symbol probability 0 0.2 0 0.2 become 0 0.4 once again there is already a 0 0.4 instead of keeping it high I will keep it down now when I add these two 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 become 0 0.6 inevitably I have to keep it high once again I will assign 0 1 0 1 0 1 for all these to get a code word what I said I will do a prefix a 0 here right now because these two are connected then directly this is connected to 
when we go for a 1 is the code word here directly I can write and these two are connected here 0 1 will be the code and these two 0 0 will be the prefix here the, the code word is 0 0 0 and for S1 where, where it has been connected these two prefix I carried here this comes here 0 0 1 0 0 1. So, my code word will be 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 1. For this I will find H of S and L bar quite interesting the L bar is same as what we are getting in the previous case of 2.2 the efficiency remains same. Now the question is what is wrong whether the added probability will keep high or low for that we have to go for one more observation that is called the variance how much we are deviating from the mean value. In any communication always we are looking for a code with minimum variance. So, what how to calculate the variance in this if I apply the formula P A into L i minus of L bar whole square then this comes to be 1.36 in the example 2 whereas in the first case when I calculate that will comes to be 0.16. So, what should be the observation whenever when we are getting equal probability if I keep as high as possible then I am getting a variance minimum. So, I want a code word with minimum variance. So, make it as a practice whenever you are getting equal probability try to keep as high as possible that will minimize the variance.